Hi, Rob D here, joined by Rob B. And today we're answering a question we get asked all the time. How should you pick the right place to invest? Well, sit tight because you're about to find out. So a question that we get asked so often by people we meet or via email or the socials is, what area should I invest in? And it's a really difficult question to answer because it, it really depends on you and what you want from your property investment. So what do people do, Rob, to start eliminating areas and, and begin to decide the first steps to decide in the areas that they should invest in? It is largely driven by what you've said, which is deciding what's important to you. And I think that's a lot easier said than done. If you are in a position where you're thinking about making your third acquisition or your fifth or whatever, I think you'll find it much easier because you'll have learned from experience what matters to you. But as best you can, do try to come to that decision. And then large parts of the country will rule themselves in or out. So the obvious one is how far away from home are you willing to go? The further, the better in terms of investment returns, because obviously, if you have the whole of the country open to you, then you're going to have more scope to find one of the best areas that there is. If you are restricting yourself to an hour from where you live, then the choices are going to be far more limited. But in any case, that is an important decision to make. Then when you start thinking about the, probably the next most important distinction, which is are you thinking more about income now or growth over the total term of your investment, that will rule locations in and out as well. And then another layer on top of this is your budget. Some areas of the country clearly are more expensive than others. And so you'll have a certain amount of cash to spend. You can use a mortgage to give yourself some leverage and increase the value of the property that you can buy, but it can only go so far. If you're looking for a really basic rule of thumb, take the amount of cash you've got and multiply it by three, because you can normally borrow up to about 75%, which would be the equivalent of multiplying it by four, but then you've got stamp duty and some costs and things like that to factor in. So that's gonna be only very, very approximate, but it gives you something to work with. So what you're kind of doing is drawing a few different circles. If you imagine circles on a map, you've got the circle within which you would be prepared to invest, a circle within which you can afford, and then some other circles of areas that hit the criteria for what matters to you. And depending on your criteria, what you end up with after doing that could be quite a small focused area, especially if you're deciding to limit yourself to places that are geographically close to where you live. But you may still have plenty of choices. You might have lots of the country open to you. And if that's the case, Rob, then we've got a bit of guidance to offer. We have, because it can still be overwhelming when you're trying to pick the, the right area. But once you've picked that area, or maybe you pick a couple of areas and you've got a short list, something that you have to be really aware of, that not every area in a great town or city will be a great place to invest. No, be very careful. There are good and bad areas to invest in general within any particular location. And then there are also different areas within a location that are gonna suit different strategies and different property types. So that is the next thing that you should be turning your attention to. So define what kind of stock you want, what type of property. Are you after high growth flats, for example? Are you looking for a capital growth place? Are you looking for something prime? You're looking for like something a bit special that's gonna probably do well in any market? Or are you looking for the house that might be not the dream home for everybody, but it just bangs out those high yields. May not do as well on the capital growth, but you get a great return, better than average, certainly. Or are you looking for a flip? Because then you'll be looking for an area that's really hot right now, where there's lots of transactions taking place. So be very careful of where you choose to do a flip. Ask estate agents, you know, where do people want to live right now? And HMOs, again, you may find an area that could be perfect for HMOs, but it's not as simple as that. There's almost certainly going to be some sort of restrictions, licensing possibly, in that area if it's particularly popular with HMOs. So more research will be required if that is your strategy and you don't know the area yet. So again, it's just going through the process, deciding what you want, speaking to local experts to understand, will this type of property in this area help me hit the goals that I have? And taking it a step further, Rob, you also want to make sure that you are, for example, furnishing it for the right market. You've got to take into account the next step, which is who will be renting this from me. 
Exactly. If you're renting out a property, and even if ultimately it's the capital growth that you're interested in, so the rental income isn't your main motivation for investing, you still need that income because you need to cover your costs and it's nice to make a profit. And what you're effectively doing when you're renting out a property is you're offering a product. And just like any other kind of product, you're not going to get one thing that appeals to every type of buyer. So is your customer going to be an individual young professional? Is it going to be a young couple? Is it going to be a family with school-aged children? Is it going to be older people who are downsizing? Is it going to be people who are super wealthy and looking for luxury? Or is it people who are going to be struggling a bit and looking for something low maintenance? To a degree, you'll get to choose. There will be some areas where you can gear a property to one or the other because both types will be present in that market. But to a large extent, the market is going to determine it for you. So being aware of that is important because then when you're looking at properties, you can put yourself in the mind of that target customer. So this is the next part of your journey in identifying the best places to invest is desktop research is going to take you a long way. And you can use tools like Rightmove, the Property Hub Forum, searching socials. There's loads of good stuff on socials, including Property Hub, where we do q and A, so you can ask questions there as well. And there's other good people out there who are doing really interesting things on the socials, so you can ask those people. It's just really getting as much information as you can, doing as much research as you can, using tools like Rightmove, Property Hub, etc., that I've mentioned, and getting a better idea now you may not narrow it down to one area by doing this but you may get it down to say a couple of areas after speaking to people on the phone after doing a desktop research you need to go and walk these areas and get a better sense of them so get on the train get in the car and go and visit these areas and then beyond that while you're there if you've got enough time you want to start making some appointments as well and start viewing properties and getting a sense of right okay i believe these areas fit my strategy and i believe these type of properties fit my strategy let's go and see because you want to make sure that you've done all your due diligence and you can start to research the properties now in more level exactly i think it's worth recognizing that just having got to this point of having identified the area and using the viewings to validate that that is where you want to be that is a huge achievement you've taken basically the whole country you've narrowed it down to a small patch and going and doing those viewings should hopefully get you to the point of going yeah this works maybe it won't maybe you need to go and start the process again and and zero in on somewhere else then from that point having made that decision the next point is finding the actual property itself and that is where doing your research your due diligence is so important and there are three main strands to this Firstly is price. It's not the only factor, but of course it is a very important one. If it's not an area that you're familiar with, you'll want to do a fair bit of research into establishing what you think the value of the property should be. The second strand is the property itself. And this could be very significant or not so much, depending on the type of property. So if you've just got a modern flat in a block, there's not going to be so much that you need to know about the actual construction of that property. But if you've got, say, a Victorian terrace, there could be a lot that needs doing to it structurally that you may not be aware of. And the third strand is the legals. This is where having a good solicitor is so important. Again, depends on property type. This time, houses are more straightforward, but there are still lots of important things that need to be looked into. With flats, there's more to think about because you need to look into the lease and the service charge and things like that. You can do some of that yourself, but having a good solicitor is going to be critical. So by taking advice from the professionals and combining it with your own research and your own digging into the price, you should finally be ready to put in an offer. But hopefully now you can follow this process that we've gone through and get to a point that if you were unsure on what areas to invest in or you had an area but you weren't completely there by going through the steps that we've taken you through today you'll get to a point of confidence so best of luck on choosing that area and i wish you the best of luck with your investment and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel here on youtube to make sure you don't miss any more videos like this one